Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Blog tutorial. In this video, we're talking about quickly showing and hiding tracks using key commands. But first, we'll look at the track manager, and this is kind of the main way that you will work with showing and hiding tracks without using the action list. You can find the track manager through the view menu, view, scroll down to track manager, and this window pops up. This gives us an overview of what's happening in the project. We have the track colors on the left. Next to that, we have the track numbers, the name of the track. TCP means track control panel, so whether that is visible or not. MCP is mixer control panel, so whether this track is visible in the mixer. We can see how many effects are on this track, how many input effects are in use. Is this track record enabled? Is it muted? Is it soloed? Is it locked? Is there a MIDI input? Is free item positioning mode turned on? And is this track frozen? So all those things are given to us at a glance. We can see that this track here is muted. This track here, the effects chain is bypassed. And we can also control these things. I could take my kick, snare, and claps, and I can easily mute these tracks. You can just click and drag to mute them or solo them, record enable them. If we right click on it, we can even see which effects are there and we can open them up. And today's topic is showing and hiding tracks quickly. So the last thing I'll show you in the track manager is how to do that. Uh, one great way is to click and drag and we can show and hide these tracks. I'll zoom out here so we can see that in action. And as I click and drag and add a dot to the MCP section, we can see these tracks showing and hiding. And the same for the track control panel area. Now in the action list, especially if you have the SWS extensions installed, you have a lot more options. I've set up three different actions that I find very useful. So let's say I want to hide uh, just these tracks that are muted. I'm going to I'm going to select those both. I'm going to press Shift H and that will hide them. And I'll show you all these later on. I just want to show you the actions to begin with. If I want to show only this guitar stem, actually, let's just show the stems that I have or my, my buses. I'm going to press Alt H and that just shows those three tracks. I need to scroll up a bit in the track control panel to keep that in view. And if I want to bring everything back, Command, Shift, H. And now I have every track in the session visible. All right, so let's look in the action list and see what those actions were. That's uh, Shift, question mark, to bring that up. So the first action was SWS hide selected tracks. When I assign that to Shift, H, SWS hide selected tracks. Now, as you can see here, there's hide all tracks, hide selected tracks from MCP, hide selected tracks from TCP, hide unselected tracks, these sorts of things. I encourage you to explore this and tweak things to your personal workflow. The next action is show selected tracks, hide others. I have that assigned to Alt-H. The last action is SWS show all tracks. I have that assigned to Command-Shift-H. So those are the three actions that I want to show you in this video. It's also worth mentioning that I have another video on doing something similar by using toolbar buttons. If you look over here on the left of my mixer, I have a toolbar. I have a little vocal microphone, guitar, drum, bass, cymbals. And I can click on these. So if I click on the bass one, it's only going to show me the three bass tracks. If I click on the drums, it's only going to show me the drum tracks. If I click on the guitar, it's only going to show me my guitar tracks. If I click on the All button, it gives me all my tracks again. And I still use this a lot, and it's super helpful. I have a video on how to do that. It's a little bit older, but still a good video. Link in the description. That's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.